So, yeah. <laughs> Before we dive right back into Sonic Mania, there is something that came out recently that I wanted to do a quick showcase for. And that is Sonic 2 HD. The A new demo just came out recently. So, hey, what's up, fellow Lovanians, and... Uh, Welcome to a little fan game playthrough of Sonic 2 HD. Uh, this has been a fan game that's been in the works for a very, very long time, as far as I know. I think, if I recall, like the one of the first trailers for this game came out in like 2011. And one of the first demos that was kind of similar in, in this fashion came out in, like, 2013. At least I think it was either 2013 or 2014. And, of course, I played through that. And in that demo, you only played through Emerald Hill. And as the zone that we're currently playing right now, it's the... Of course, the, uh... For those who played the original Sonic 2, would know as the, uh, first stage. And <laughs> I think some Sonic fans would call this, like, Green Hill 2.0. And as you can see, I'm already done. And, by the way, I, I should stress this right now. This is post-commentary. I recorded this footage about a couple of days ago. Or actually, I think it was the day after uh, this demo launched so it, it was last Friday and I played it on Saturday hmm. yeah so I just wanted to do like a quick showcase of this game before uh, going back to Sonic Mania because this um believe it or not uh, this demo is kind of uh, jam-packed with all sorts of content. You play through a total of three zones. I'm not going to spoil what those are. But yeah, that's pretty uh, meaty, I guess you can say, for a demo like this. For a fan game, no less. And here we have the first Eggman boss, which is uh, pretty easy. He just drives in this, like, <laughs> really, really slow uh, vehicle. And the only thing that can really hurt you is, like, the drill that he has in the front. And <laughs> I just destroyed him right there. Oh, yeah, right here I'm, I'm showing off the, uh, the detail animations. I like that. And uh, the ending one as well, like, right there. And that, believe it or not, is the end of <laughs> Emerald Hill Zone. Kind of blasted through that stage really quick. And I like this little uh, transition between the zones right here, where it fades out. And here we are at Chemical Plant, the second stage. With a, with a nice remix as well. Shoutouts to the um, uh, musicians that composed the uh, remixes for this little fan game. I think um, T Lopes, the guy who composed the. Uh, he made a few uh, Sonic remixes and also he did the entirety of the soundtrack for Sonic Mania. He has done work on. I, th I think a few tracks for this game but I think the and this might be a spoiler for the credits but I think the composer now is a guy named Tony Lays if that's how you pronounce his name yeah but everything about this game is uh <laughs> it's pretty pretty great all down to like the t the details in the art and the 
you know, all the animation and the music is pretty, pretty solid work so far. I'm really hoping that they uh, continue to finish this title. Pretty solid work thus far. <laughs> and, I, and I like how it, that wasn't really intentional, but Tails <laughs> doing his victory animation behind the sign. And I like the that they uh, composed different music between each act. Which oddly enough, they don't call them acts. They just call them, they number them by zones. Which they, they sometimes do that in some Sonic games. <laughs> so as you can tell by my playing ability, I have done some practice. I, I think I done a full playthrough of this before recording. So that's how I'm doing these stages so quick. Yeah, you see like the the details in like the pipes that you run across, like the blue chemicals. Like that amount of detail is pretty astounding. Pretty incredible. And also the water. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this is <laughs> like everybody's least favorite part of the stage where you have to do some platforming in the water and you have to do it fast enough before you drown because they're pretty unforgiving for not li giving you any bubbles which you need to survive Oh, in case if you're wondering, no. If you have 50 rings and you pass... Why can't I talk today? Uh, if you pass the checkpoint and you have 50 rings, uh, there are no special stages in this demo. But I'm pretty sure they'll add them once they hopefully finish this. <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately, I this is a no-death run. Or this is not a don't no death run, rather. <laughs> because oddly enough, out of all the bosses in this demo, this one gave me the most trouble. Because not only do you have the flipping platforms, which um, if you have horrible timing, then you'll fall right through them like that. <laughs> Yeah, not, I'm not going to do any editing whatsoever for this part. Because apparently these deaths are somewhat funny to uh, watch. But I think I... Do I succeed here? Let me see. I think at some point I just... Yeah. <laughs> I, I momentarily look up and I just... Yeah. I just take it right to the face. And I, I also do like that detail how the chemicals spill on him once you defeat him. You know, I show off some of the stumbling animations there. And that was Chemical Plant. We have one more zone to go, and guess what it is? Hilltop Zone with a very, very funky saxophone. <laughs> I like this remix a lot. Yeah, and I think some people will call this, or dub this one as, like, Blue Emerald Hill. Like, it's just Emerald Hill colored blue. And I can sort of see that, but I still like this stage, nonetheless. Yeah, and you see what I mean, like, the, the glow in the lava. 
It's pretty nice to look at, and... Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I, I touched, like, the side of the spikes, and I somehow got hit. Unfortunately, there are, like, a few bugs to iron out. So hopefully they can... Uh, patch those out. And, like, an, if they release another demo in the future. Yeah, and there's, like, a... I don't know if you saw that, but that was like a little flickering glitch. Like whenever you reach a certain part in the level, that'll that'll happen. And then, yeah, you can see like when we're in the cave, the detail about the shaders on Sonic there. But on, I think on some of the level environments, they don't apply that. But this is still, like, an impressive demo. And you can try this for yourself if you have a powerful enough uh, PC to run this on. For some reason, I couldn't get this to work with a standalone keyboard. I had to use a controller. Funny enough that they... It doesn't... Well... I don't know, maybe it, it might be just me that has that type of issue. If you can play with a keyboard, then I'd, I'd love to, to hear how you can do that, because... Yeah, I never really figured that out. For like a PC application like this, it, it'd be really weird to not play with a keyboard. Especially like a 2D platformer like this. I always like using a keyboard. And like a D-pad. Yeah, that was <laughs> a massive fail trying to stay up on the upper path. That type of level design is what makes Sonic games great, is that if you can stay up on the top path, then you'll get more rewards. And it's also odd playing this because I kind of miss having the drop dash, something that Sonic Mania introduced and <laughs> by Tails. And yeah, that, that wasn't worth going that way. For some reason that guy is... It may might be just me, but it might be a little too low. Yeah, and if you're playing with a controller during that part that has the earthquake, <laughs> then uh, it'll vibrate intensely. If you jump all the way down there, you get you'll get a life. That's all. That's why I always like doing in this in the original. It's like taking a, a daring jump like that. <laughs> yeah, and I think right there, I just I was kind of full of rage. I just wanted to uh, take revenge on them for hitting me. Yeah, and we're already at the end here. Yeah, and <laughs> uh, that's something you can do, but it's kind of risky. You can just bounce on it multiple times, but you'll most likely fall into the lava. And what's also kind of annoying is that if you have Tails with you, then he can sometimes screw you over in terms of like... Because he can hit the boss as well, but... The boss itself will have invincibility frames, so if Tails hits him first, then you can easily fall right through him and get hit by the lava on the ground, which is annoying. And that is pretty much it. Now we're at the credits. Well, I, I like the music here. It's the special stage music and the... <laughs> I like the simple art as well. It's pretty cute. You got Sonic and Tails and... <laughs> yeah, no, in a lot of these, <laughs> Tails gets uh, wrongfully abused. So 
So yeah, that was the Sonic 2 HD uh, Demo 2.0. Again, you can try this out for yourself if you have a pow powerful enough PC. Uh, I'll probably leave a link in the description so you can download it. But yeah, uh, I... Overall thoughts on this project, I think it's... Uh, Presentation-wise, it's... Uh, pretty great. It's pretty wonderful. Pretty beautiful. <laughs> uh, can't really wait to see if... Uh, like, any... Anything else they, that they want to finish, if they can... Then I... I'd be more than happy to do a full playthrough if they ever finish this. A few bugs iron iron out, but you know, still, it's a pretty fun fan game that I highly recommend you try for yourself. And I like this ending here. See you next time. Hoping that there is next time. And yeah, I think that's where we're going to end things off there. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this little fan game playthrough. Uh, again, I had tons of fun playing through this. And uh, yeah, it's another game by the fans for the fans. Uh, yeah, and I think... If they ever made, like, a Sonic Mania sequel, which no doubt that they will at some point, then, you know, don't get me wrong, I do like the pixelated art that Sonic Mania has going for it, but, you know, seeing, like, an official 2D Sonic game, or classic Sonic game, rather, in this style, then that would be uh, pretty sweet. Would really like to play through something like that. But who knows? And okay, that will really uh, conclude this video. So thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you. Uh, f well, the next time you'll hear my voice, it, it will be f for more Sonic Mania. So see you guys next time. <laughs>